Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about control statements in java programming so guys these are two of the most important keywords that we can use in the loops that is break keyword and continue keyword so guys the functionality of the break keyword is it breaks the flow of execution in loops so we are going to check this with the help of examples as well and then the continue keyword is the opposite of the break keyword which continues the flow of execution to the next iteration so guys let us understand both of these keywords with the help of example so guys what we will do is we will use a for loop in this case let me just clear the screen so what i am going to do is we have a for loop and inside this for loop we have int i it is going from 0 and then i less than 10 that means it will go from the number 0 to 9 10 is not included in this case since we have used the less than symbol and then after semicolon we are doing i plus plus now guys what we want to do is irrespective of what condition we have put that is in this case we have put i less than 10 that means the numbers will go from 0 to 9 but let's say we want to print only the numbers from 0 to 5 so what i am going to do over here is let me just print the statement over here that is print ln and instead of this print ln we will just put the print so that we get all the numbers in one line so guys what i am going to do over here is i will put the value of i and then followed by a space character so plus operator followed by double quotes and a space character inside these double quotes so guys let me just save this file and try running this code so that we'll see what will be the output so as you can see the number 0 to 9 is getting printed and 10 is not included in this case now guys let us say we just want to print the numbers from 0 to 5 and then we want to come out of this for loop so what we can do is once the i's value is 5 over here the i that is the value 5 will get printed and after this we can have the if condition so if i is equal to equal to 5 So if the i's value is 5 currently what we can do is we can break that is come out of this loop so guys the break keyword works in this way we can just provide the break keyword followed by the semicolon that is the end of the line and the control flow will come out of this loop inside which the break keyword is placed so guys let us understand this let us save this file and try running this code now So as you can see 0 to 5 is getting printed that's because after the value of i is equal to 5 we are checking whether i is equal to 5 or not and then it will break that is it will come out of the loop so every time the execution is coming inside this loop i is being checked whether it is equal to 5 and whenever it is not equal to 5 the control flow will not see this break statement and this will help the control flow to go back to this for loop again and we have seen the functionality of the for loop previously as well and based on this break keyword we can limit the number of digits that can be printed on the screen now guys let us understand the functionality of another keyword that is continue which is opposite to the break keyword so guys let me clear this break keyword for now and i'll just save this file and try running this code so that all the numbers get printed that is 0 to 9 now guys what i want to do is i just want to print the odd numbers that is 1 3 5 Seven and nine. That means I don't want to print the even numbers that are present in between them. So, guys, one way that I can do the same thing is by starting from the number one and then incrementing it by two, which we have seen previously as well. But, guys, we will use another method in order to achieve the same functionality using the continue keyword. So, what I will do is currently all the numbers are getting printed. That is zero to nine. But what we can do is we can provide the if condition at the start of the for loop. so inside this if condition we can check whether a number is a even number or a odd number so what i can do is we can do i percentage 2 which means i will get divided by 2 and then whatever the remainder is that remainder will be returned in this condition and then whatever remainder is there we are going to check whether it is equal to 0 or not so guys if you know something about mathematics so whenever you are dealing with even numbers whenever you divide these even numbers by 2 the remainder will be always 0 and this is what we are trying to do whenever there is an even number we divide it by 2 over here and we are going to check whether the remainder is 0 or not if it is an odd number then the remainder will be 1 so in this case 
case the condition will be false but whenever there is an even number the remainder will be zero in this case and the condition will be true and whenever there is a condition that is true in this case what we are going to do is we are going to use the continue keyword so guys the functionality of the continue keyword is in this way so whenever this condition is true the control flow will encounter this continue keyword and in whichever loop the continue keyword is present it will make the control flow to go back at the starting of the loop over here so again all these conditions will get executed so guys the only important thing that you should know is whenever this continue keyword is encountered the rest of the lines of code after this continue keyword will not get executed but the control flow will automatically go to the start of the for loop that is in this condition so let me just save this file and try running this code in order to print only odd numbers so as you can see only odd numbers are getting printed over here that is one three five seven nine that's because whenever the even numbers were encountered in this if condition we placed the continue keyword which will make the control flow go back to the for loop again and in this way the even numbers were not getting printed now guys let us do the opposite of this let's say we want to print the even numbers but not the odd numbers so we have to make this condition true for even numbers in which case whenever there is a odd number that is getting divided by 2 the remainder will be 1 every time so we will make the value as 1 over here let me just save this file and try running this code so as you can see the odd numbers are left out and the even numbers are getting printed now that is 0 2 4 6 and then 8 and then after 8 the i's value is 9 in which case 9 percent 2 is actually equal to 1 and then continue statement will make the control flow go back to this for loop and then i's value will be incremented by 1 which will make the value of i equal to 10 and then is 10 less than 10 no in this case so the control flow will come out of this for loop and guys in this way we can easily use the break keywords and the continue keywords as well guys comment below if you have any queries about any java program so far and please make sure that you practice on your own so that you can master these java programs so guys please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notification on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is switch case in java programming with the help of a java switch program so stay tuned